hello viewers in this video we are going to show you how you can increase your ram speed or you can say ram overclocking in this case i am using two 8 gb of ddr4 3200 mhz ram keys which are obviously running in dual channel mode although i am using two ram sticks in my case but you can use four ram sticks in the same way while you will set your ram in ram slots for the first time you will see all of your rams are set to default speed automatically that is generally 2133 megahertz if you have 4 RAM sticks and 4 RAM slots available in your motherboard, you can fill all those apps without any issue. And before that, you have to know my hardware configuration, otherwise you may have to struggle. I am using MSI motherboard. If I mention the exact model of my motherboard, that is MSI B450 Carbon Max Wi-Fi. This motherboard is capable of supporting 3200 MHz and same for the processor. My processor is Ryzen 5 3600. That also supports 3200 MHz of RAM speed. It also supports dual channel mode. So before we try this up, you have to make sure that all of your components does support high frequency ram speed number one is your processor number two is your motherboard along with your motherboard chipset and last and obvious one is your ram itself and very important thing is maintaining the ram order because if you are not filling all of your four ram slots you need to maintain a sequence while filling half of your four slots number one ram will go to the number one slot and number two ram will go to the number three slot and the third one will go to the number two slot and the fourth one goes to the fourth slot you can visit your motherboard website for specification to be more clear about this fact. If you don't follow this order, you will not be able to activate dual channel mode or to take the advantage of the dual channel. So now let's dive into the hands-on tutorials. To know what your current RAM speed is, we have to go to the task manager by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape. Then you have to go to the performance section. Select memory, then you will see the speed is showing here 3200 MHz in my case, which was previously set to 2133 MHz, but after overclocking now it's running on 3200 MHz. Now we have to change these settings from the BIOS, and to go to the BIOS you have to restart your computer and while restarting your computer you have to press the delete button continuously until you are in the BIOS settings. Now coming to BIOS settings is almost same for all modern motherboards, some settings may be slightly here and there but I think you will find those very easily now I am in my BIOS settings you can see the RAM speed just in the top of the window if you are using MSI motherboard then it seems something like this and if the motherboard is of a different brand then the look will be slightly different I have to show this on MSI motherboard as I have this one only now you can see I have two modes here one is easy mode and other one is advanced mode I can switch from one to another and in advanced mode you see there is overclock leveled when i press on overclock or oc then you will see some more options and here you have to change two of these settings one is dram frequency and other one is axmp first you have to understand what these things are axmp means extreme memory profile what does this mean while you are overclocking your RAM, you are actually changing the voltages and the frequency. And there are some more parameters which are related to it. Your RAM has to maintain a fixed voltage, which you will find in info. As you can see here some voltages that are currently being applied to your CPU and RAM and other electronics. And you can see here the RAM voltage is 1.364 volt. And obviously you can manually set these voltages, in that case you have to be professional or you must have the appropriate knowledge for doing it, otherwise you will mess up, that for sure. Now you can see here you can manually set all these things, but you can see these all settings are set to auto. If you are confident about changing these things by overwriting auto, then you can do, but I will not suggest that. To make this complicated task easy, your motherboard has some pieces or layout ready to be used which is called AXMP profile. So you can easily select a profile from AXMP. Now all of your voltages and settings will be automatically set by your AXMP. In this case there is no rigs. Normally it will be set to disabled, then you have to select this to profile 1. And this is your first task. And the second task is to change your DRAM frequency to your maximum supported speed, which is 3200 MHz in my case. So I am selecting 3200 MHz from those options. And you must remember that all of your components have to be supported for the speed. And if you have higher, then you can select higher speed. So viewers, that's all you have to change here, keep all other settings as it is. Then to save your settings, you have to press F10 to save and exit. Then it will ask you to save your changes. 
then you select yes now your pc will restart and it will be running on higher frequency after this restart so viewers that's all for today thanks for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon